Editor-in-Chief Gerald Flurry emphasized in the January 1995 edition of the Philadelphia Trumpet that the Achilles heel of the United States military was its dependency on information technology. An enemy that could sabotage America's computer networks could potentially conquer the nation. One way to do this is cyber warfare or hacking, but there are other ways. The U.S. Air Force released an Electromagnetic Defense Task Force report on November 28, 2018. It concluded that an electromagnetic pulse generated by a solar flare or a nuclear weapon could cripple communication systems that the U.S. military desperately needs. Such an eventuality would fulfill a major Bible prophecy. High intensity radiation from solar flares sometimes affects radio communications and power line transmissions. In 1859, a solar storm so powerful occurred that it knocked out telegraphs across North America and Europe. If a similar high energy storm occurred today, it could lead to widespread blackouts and long-term damage to the power grid. After nuclear weapons were developed, the U.S. government decided to test whether a nuclear detonation could simulate the electromagnetic effects of a solar flare. And so in 1962, the United States detonated a 1.4 megaton nuclear bomb 250 miles above the Pacific Ocean. This high altitude detonation caused catastrophic effects even 900 miles away in Hawaii, knocking out street lights and causing all the phone lines to go dead. The blast also damaged several American, British, and Russian satellites. The electronics of the 1960s were much more resilient to electromagnetic pulses than the smartphones, computers, nuclear facilities, and other technologies of today. The high altitude detonation of a nuclear bomb could theoretically incapacitate power grids across North America, bringing chaos to major cities. Such a blast would also disable vital technologies that the military relies on for communication. Communication between bases would be cut off and weapon systems could be rendered useless. Based on the totality of available data, the Air Force report states, an electromagnetic spectrum attack may be a threat to the United States, democracy, and the world order. In his 1995 article, Mr. Flurry describes a sobering Bible prophecy that could well be fulfilled by a cyber attack or electromagnetic pulse. In Ezekiel 7:14, it says, they have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none goes to the battle. This verse says a trumpet of war is to be blown among the end time descendants of ancient Israel. These end time descendants are primarily the United States and Britain. People are expecting the military to mobilize for battle, but the greatest tragedy imaginable happens. No one goes to war. Will this be because of a cyber attack, an electromagnetic pulse, or a solar flare? Intoxicated with success, Americans have forgotten God and rejected his law. They trust in their military to save them from calamity. But Bible prophecy says the military will not respond when calamity comes. All it takes is a strategic cyber attack, an electromagnetic detonation, or a high radiation solar storm to cripple America's high-tech fortifications. The one and only true path towards safety and security is repentance towards God. To understand more about what the Bible says concerning America's misplaced trust in military technology, read Gerald Flurry's updated article, America's Achilles Heel and Germany.